There's like magic within them. You you have like a certain friendship with them. Just if you accidentally stuck yourself with a needle while you're sewing or something. Oh, it's fun. It's really fun. When we first got here, there were not many people, but now there is. Just working with a lot of people, and you get to meet a lot of new people, a lot of friends. I mean, it's been better this year than it has been past year. It's just I don't know. <laughs> special feeling that you could ever have. Um, it just feels great because you have a lot of support from your friends and it's just a lot of fun. It's just an honor to be a part of it and fun to be around everyone and be in front of be elected by the student body is really an honor. We had a really fun week. Everybody was just all happy and we were all together and everybody on it's really good friends so it was really fun. <laughs> it's, it, it's emotional, it takes you away. It was really fun to see all your friends and everyone cheering for you. It was, I was kind of nervous, but it was fun. It just feels good that you know that you have a lot of friends that think that you should be king or what have you. And it feels great. I, did, I didn't move for a while. <laughs> I just stood there waiting. I was like, I don't know. It doesn't seem real. Down six to nothing. We got seven and a half minutes left. I think our team's good if we can score six points, maybe more. Maybe seven points for the win. Draws a big crowd, as you can see. It's a lot of fun. Girls like it, guys like it, the whole school likes it. It's fun. Too. We don't know what we're doing either. We're very psyched up. We can't wait to get out there. It's great, it's better than last year. How many marshmallows have you guys eaten? Wow, uh, about, about 10. Black. About a whole 10, bag already. Actually. Yeah, just yeah. about a bag. Half a bag. Well, I hope everyone keeps on cheering because this is going to be an awesome year. Yeah. Just a big game. Uh, the school gets excited about it, and it's it's a tradition, and usually Burns all wins. And I think we will. I know we will. Homecoming is no fun unless you win the football game. That's like the highlight of the week. Just you cannot lose on the home field. This is our field. This is sacred ground. This is black and gold territory. Up and it's your last year, so you can get a huge group and you know have a lot of fun and you can.
forget about college and everything and just be a kid and party. sisters that likes to kill a lot of people and just has a nasty habit of doing that and why do you suddenly turn on your own brother? Now you've got to know sometime it might as well be now. Teddy <coughs> killed him. Nonsense, dear. There's a body in the window seat. Yes, dear, we know. <laughs> and uh, the whole place just about trying to keep them under control and from them not to kill other people. It's really fun working with other people and seeing other actors, and I don't know, I like it. You just look up in the crowd, you see, you see other people in the, in the stands, and you know you're playing for Burnsville, your, your, your city, you know you live here. It's just a feeling that you, you can't replace. It's just a great feeling. I think anyone who gets a chance to go through this program is really just got a lucky break, you know, that, that they've been able to be a part of something that's great. And then once you step out on the field, it's just electricity. You have the power to beat the other team, and you know, especially at Burnsville, that you can beat every team that you come against. Burnsville football is not really football. It's a, it's a family, and I think after that family's, you know, developed and everybody gets to know each other, then we play football. You got something here that's so powerful that just gets, you know, hundred and some kids every year. You just want to come out and play football. They want to be part of the Braves. They're really nice people to run with and run by and run behind. And it's great because everyone is really, really gives you moral support and they're all um, I don't know, just really up on everything. They're all happy people and we all get along really well. And it's a lot of fun. We just goof around a lot of times and we, and we like run at our own paces. And we, we run for as long as we feel like. It's not a lot of pressure, I mean, compared to football. I mean, you pretty much, it's an individual sport and you excel at your own pace. Last year we had a very young team, so we have a lot of the returning team returns come back so uh, we should be pretty well set this year. We're hoping to do good this year. We got to the uh, state semifinals last year and my sophomore year we won it so we're hoping to uh, at least get as far as we have the past two years. I think our team has a lot of depth. A lot of depth. We don't have many superstars on the team and so that helps out a lot. Being together, we're like one big happy family. It's really cool. We get along. We're like best friends. When things are hard, you know, they're still always there. We laugh about everything. We're just really supportive of each other. All the friends that I made and all the friends that I'm going to have for the rest of my life. Well, I think we're playing pretty good right now and we've lost, you know, a couple important matches, but I know we're going to come back and we're going to try and go for it all. Um, I think it's about rebuilding this year. We have a lot of new, new players on the team and I think we're gonna have a really good season and really excited because we have a lot of fun girls on the team. Yeah, we, we really have fun and we really play hard and it's 
Pessoal, tá? good to give blood because some really sick kid could need it. You, if you have it, then why shouldn't you give it? Each person that donates blood, that helps the three people that need it. And we have like 200, over 200 slots. So. I think they're, they're all volunteering. They think it's a good idea because there's so many of us doing this today. Yeah, when they tell you you save three lives by donating blood, you know, that, that always makes you feel pretty good. Yeah. I feel really good about myself doing this. Lady, I'm glad she asked me. Here we are. Yeah. Sadie Hawkins dance. Here we are. We're evidence that the junior class is the best class in the high school right now. <laughs> class 94. Right. Just look at the two of us and it speaks for itself. <laughs> well, we got here and there wasn't that many people here, but as soon as we got here, a lot of people started coming and then we just got out there and kind of let it all out and it got a lot of fun now. Country stream, but no country music. It's been great music. It's been well, better anyway than country. I hate country. Yeah, we did. Yeah, as soon as we came, then everyone started following us. And <laughs> I'm kidding. But as soon as everyone saw a few people dancing and stuff, then it got better. Well, there's a lot of pride at Burnsville. Um, we're doing a lot better this year than we thought we would. Um, we can be conference champs. Strange things. Uh, we have a ritual every day. We go out in the parking lot and do 360s and stuff. Uh, wacky, no. We're normal guys. We're a lot stronger this year, and we've been working really hard, and um, we're looking forward to a really strong season. I guess we're really wild, and I like the friendships we make with people. A lot of time in the weight room. A lot of pain at the beginning of the season with ripped hands and sore muscles. I'm just going to have a lot of fun. That's the only thing I want to do. So. Well, the team's doing all right this year. We got some strong points like uh, got Rob Lurtz in the back. He's, he was injured in the beginning of the season. He's all right now. We got a strong sophomore, Mike Cernock. And uh, got a lot of good shooters on the team.
think we have a very good chance of winning Lake Red. Even though we have Apple Valley and Osseo, that don't mean nothing, because what they did in the past don't excite us. But uh, we, we have a pretty solid team all the way through. And uh, we should we expect some pretty big things this year. Well, this year we've just been mainly working on um, rebuilding and working on technique. <laughs> it's all because of Dave. It's all because of Dave. He's the only reason. And it's cold out here. Yeah. That's why. That's the reason. We're all together and we go skiing and we're real supportive of one another when we're racing and it's just fun. We're just still kind of getting used to playing with each other because none of us have really played together. But we're building together. <laughs> we're getting better and uh, I think as the season goes along we'll become a lot better. I think right now we just need to bring it all together. Um, I don't think we're any worse, we're just a different kind of a team and we just haven't started as strong. Um, we condition a lot and work on tough defense and I think we're probably one of the hardest working teams here at Burnsville. I was asked to leave the room. It seems I have one in the room during the examination. It was a deliberate snuff. This show is about a school of girls, ranging from ages 13 to 15, and it is run by two women, and an old woman by the name of Mrs. Tilford helped them get started, and she has a granddaughter named Mary, and Mary starts a vicious rumor about the two women, and saying that they have this unnatural relationship. Go upstairs and get me the money! I won't! I no. won't! Get me the money! money. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to watch the characters develop. And since there's two different casts, it's kind of fun to compare the differences between them. Everybody's yelling at me. Get all this stuff. I did see it. I did see it. How's that look? Four more years. Thank you so much. I'm not going to be like other mothers. And it was somewhat glorifying illegitimacy. To be pro-family and pro-choice. We've worked so hard in this community to build what we got. We just got to start over. As for playing, there's not much I'm going to say because, you know, your actions speak, speak louder than words. I have concluded that we cannot win in November since this code would obviously put it in the House of Representatives. <laughs> Minneapolis police officer assassinated, gunned down from behind while on dinner break at an all-night restaurant. I mean, every night you go out, you might get killed, and this is what happens. But it was a fairy tale romance, uh, but fairy tales don't continue to work. Noriega is charged with 12 counts of conspiracy. Tonight, I feel that the Panamanian people are finally free. Tonight, the nation has picked its president. Bill Clinton will become the 41st president of the United States. Offer more opportunity to all and demand more responsibility from all. He was a giant in the quest for human rights and equal opportunity in the whole history of our country. How's that look? You've been waiting for that a long time. I have, all right. I've been a Minnesota twin for nine years, and I'm happy to be a Minnesota twin for the next five years. The offers were not acceptable. Uh, from then on, I made it clear that I was only dealing with Dallas. Uh, they call their compound Mount Carmel. 33-year-old David Korish is the leader. By 1233, only 24 minutes after it started, the fire had leveled virtually the entire compound. And they start shooting at us. What would you do? Makeup on, got my dress on, ready to go after pictures, of course. I don't know, we couldn't find the place. We drove around for a long time and asked tons of people how to get here, nobody knew. Uh, it was interesting. Uh, her father and mother uh, proceeded to take, what was it, 15, 20 pictures, arranging us in 
arranging us in various poses. And, and she had it all picked out right. She had my tux and I went in before and it's all white, you know, in a matching dress and everything. And I get in there and the lady hands me my shoes to try on. I go, I'm supposed to have white shoes. She goes, white shoes with the black tux? I go, wait a minute, I'm supposed to have a white tux. I got my nails done. I was in a bad mood until um, until we started going, get going. But it was very hectic and I was, I was screaming like a little banshee. But, you know, now it's worth it. Jody and I won the Wayne Award. Uh, my name is John Penile and I won the Garth Award. Next on the list is the biggest brown noser award. Yeah. I'm Liz Wheeler and I got Delta 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 Girl. And I don't know why I got this, I guess. I'm like, I don't know, maybe Titsy or something? I don't know why I got it. The winners of this award are Nate Brown and Kim Wanderers. We have just <laughs> been honored by winning the Biggest Eagle Award. And the winners are Lance Carnahan and Don Smith. Yeah. My name is Kim Yo, and I won the Driver of the Biggest Junker Award. Um. <laughs> and the winners are Heidi Reed and Chris Cortez. Well, the paper ranked us as the dark horse in the beginning of the season, and right now we're tied for first place, and we won our invitational tournament. So we're doing really well, and we're expecting, <laughs> hopefully, going to state. We have a lot of good hitters, a lot of strong hitters. We have really great defense. Um, we may be lacking speed, but that's probably the only thing. Everything else is just great, I think. Um, well, obviously, we want to play together as a team, and we want to win. Um, most, it doesn't matter really to win, we just have a good time. We're like one happy family pretty much, so. Good, it's a little slow, we've got a really new team, but we got potential. No, not really, I gotta have a lucky ball though. Lucky ball. Lucky ball. What does it say on there, Joe? I don't know, I can't read it. What does it say, Lisa? Nick. Oh, yeah. Nick That'd be my boyfriend. Thanks. <laughs> My tipping and cutting is like the worst part of the whole thing. This year we aren't very good because we don't have enough people going out. Um, our sprinters are really good though. Distance could use some improvement, but uh, um, coaching's pretty good. We got. Riggs, Graf, and Beerum. It's about as good as I've ever been, the same as every other year. I like uh, running with my friends. Um, just being around your friends, screwing around on the track. Races are pretty fun. Well, we're open to win the region tournament, and uh, we were a lot better last year, but we lost a couple of good seniors. Great influence from the seniors. It's just a lot of fun playing on the team. The class of 93 represents an era of changes. In a world that changes so quickly, and in a world that has become so diverse, we need to be able to embrace changes. And the experiences that we have had at Burnsville Senior High School will help us endure the changes that we will make in the future. We must have goals that are long term. And sure, along the way there will be moments of greatness like today, but the moments will add up to something greater. A record of excellence, a plaque on the wall, or a championship ring. This year when we, the class of 1993, march away in our caps and gowns with our diplomas, our collective brilliance will not be extinguished. These lamps of ours will be spread far and wide across Minnesota, across the United States, and across the entire world. There's so many words to describe it. I'm excited, I'm sad, after new adventures. I don't know, <laughs> just, there's too many to describe what it's like. Glad to be done with my three years at Burns Hill. I did a lot, but it's time to end. It's time to go on to college. We dreamed our dreams with each other. Looking toward tomorrow, now the story is told.
starting to unfold Through all this time together We were building for the future As you walk away, take something to hold This is the road that we walk Taking each step side by side The highs and lows and tears and joy and laughter I know that you were always my guide I dreamed my dreams because of you I reached my dreams because of you Our faces tell the story And I know That you'll be there for me When I need you You'll always be with me Where I go I dreamed my dreams Because of you I reached my dreams Because of you The time Set ourselves free to the world But we still have each other to believe in We always hold inside us these words I dreamed my dream